Dogs survived the attack. Thank you for assisting. I was certain to meet my end here as well. Are you okay? Physically, the damage is minor. But I am registering sadness and anger at the loss of my friends. It may sound strange coming from a robot, but they were my family. Again, I thank you for your efforts. I know they would have thanked you as well. What kind of robot are you? I am heavily modified, but at my core, I am an Assaultron. My name is Ada. This was the third time we've been attacked by robots like these. Even with the weapon and detection upgrades Jackson gave me, I was unable to defend them. Who's Jackson? Jackson was the leader of this caravan. He had a great mind for technology. In many ways, he is my creator. He installed all my current upgrades. Unfortunately, they were not enough to protect them from the robots. You're upgraded? Yes, modified using a robot workbench based on prototype schematics. The workbench allows for a wide range of robot modifications. Perhaps if I had more sentry bot based defenses, I could have successfully defended my friends against those robots. They must be targeting you for some reason. Probability is high that I am part of that reason. Besides myself, Jackson also created Turing, Hertz, and Porter. Our built-in modifications would be desired pieces of salvage. We knew we ran the risk of encountering more of these hostile robots if we stayed in the Commonwealth. If only we had made the decision to leave. So why did you end up staying? Our caravan specialized in mechanical repairs and trade. The Commonwealth has an abundance of salvage that would benefit our business. It was a calculated risk. Well, you certainly paid that price. Your apathy only increases my feelings of responsibility. In recompense, I will seek justice for my friends and stop these robots from causing further harm. It's time to uncover the source and confront their leader, the Mechanist. Who's the Mechanist? The only information I have comes from the iBot broadcasts. The false claims of peace and justice. The only certainty is that these robots bring only death. I ask your assistance in stopping this mechanist. A dangerous mind should not control such power. In return, I can give you the schematics to build your own robot workbench, so you have additional resources in this undertaking. You want revenge, don't you? I admit my goal is twofold. Stopping the mechanist both protects the Commonwealth and allows me to avenge my fallen friends. I won't rest until I see this threat dissolved. I owe it to them. Now, we last saw a group of the Mechanist robots at the General Atomics factory. You may find information there that will lead us to the Mechanist. I will follow and assist with your permission. Are you sure you're up for it? Yes. I will not rest until the Mechanist is stopped. Yeah, let's go, Ada. General Atomics has valuable salvage. Chances are high the robots are still there. I suggest we take as much as we can carry.
we go. Head over there.
I'd be happy to help if I can. Ada. Did you retrieve something from that robot? Have you seen a robot with a brain like that before? No, but my old caravan discovered records about them while we were scavenging military facilities. According to my databanks, it's called the Robobrain. It was considered one of the most technologically superior robots ever constructed. But the model never reached full production status. Yeah, it had this... interesting tech. Intriguing. Let's examine it. Impressive technology. If my analysis is correct, this is a specialized radar beacon. I suspect it's how the mechanist was keeping track of the robo-brain you destroyed. As the next logical step, I need you to install this beacon within me so we can use it to our advantage. Are you sure? While there's only a 78.3% chance that I'm correct, I'd like to point out that it's the only lead we have. Sounds like a solid plan. I'm glad you agree. You'll need to use a robot workbench to ensure proper installation, and my presence will be required. To maintain peak efficiency, I strongly recommend that we remain together until the radar beacon is successfully installed. Heads up. Yes, sir. Ada. Are you ready to install the radar beacon? Does it have to be you? I could install it on a different robot. My memory contains more relevant knowledge than any new robot you attempt to create. I appreciate your concern, but I can assure you I won't suffer any harm from the installation. So, are you ready? It's time. Let's do this. Good. The installation should be simple. Once I'm in the robot workbench, just install the radar beacon and I'll do the rest.
This should prove interesting. I wonder what you'll build next. Heads up. What can I do for you? Hey, Ada. A moment. The modification was successful. New hardware has been detected and software is updating. And installation complete. Analyzing mechanist hardware. The radar beacon is receiving a strong encrypted signal, but I can't determine the source. Do you think the Mechanist knows we're tampering with the beacon? I've already added fail-safes to ensure my location is secure, and prevent any unintended commands the signal may issue. Unfortunately, one of that will help us determine the signal's source. It's a good start, at least. Absolutely. With some additional assistance, I should be able to decrypt the signal and locate the Mechanist. Fortunately, I'm detecting another Robobrain in the Commonwealth that's receiving the same signal. And this is important because... I will explain. The encryption on the source signal is complex, but not beyond solving. If you can bring me two additional beacons, they should provide the keys and algorithms that I need to enhance my decryption routines. Are you sure this will work? I've calculated a 96.9% .9 chance of success. Given your capabilities, I believe the odds to be in our favor. All right, let's do it. Good. Let's get started. I'm uploading the location of the Robobrain to your Pip-Boy now. Just be careful. These robots tend to travel in groups, so you're likely to encounter heavy resistance. <laughs>